Alrighty guys, so you guys already know I start with my eyebrows done and I'm going to prep my eyelids using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I believe this is like in medium or something like that. Now I'm going to use my Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette for a few shades and I'm going to take these two shades to go in as a transition to kind of set, set that concealer a little bit and this is just going to go in the crease and above where the eyebrow is you guys know I do kind of the same thing for every look taking that same palette I'm going to go into this like burnt orange shade here it don't look like it on the picture but it's like an orangey shade I'm just going to put that as my real transition color into the crease um, and just blend it out really good So I could not find this palette anywhere online for you guys to go and buy it. Remember I showed you guys this in my TJ Maxx haul and it was like $2 and it comes with a blush and a contour and a highlight. But you can take any rich cranberry shade you have and I want to try this out as an eyeshadow and this is a blush. And I'm going to place it on my lid also but I kind of just placed it all over into the crease and on the lid. And if you're wondering what the name of this palette's called, it's called Br Brooklyn Beauty. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it, but just use whatever you guys already have. So I'm just placing some on the lid. I didn't really like how it looked by itself, so I'm going to go in and change it. But I was just adding a little bit extra to the lid. I'm just adding my Maybelline Better Skin Concealer because that was the one I had on the table and it's a little bit lighter than my Shape Tape. And I'm just going to add that to the lid real quick and blend it out only to the middle part of my eyelid. And then I'm going to take my Profusion palette. You guys know I love this palette and I'm taking those two shades and I'm mixing them together and adding it to the center of my lid. And this is the one of their Summer Collection palettes. So now for the fun part, I'm taking this Maybelline, this is the Super Stay Matte Ink Lipstick and I'm taking it in Voyager and I'm going to take this shade and use a nice thin angle brush, this is the same brush I use for my eyebrows and I'm going to carve out a wing and this is really really easy to do with any lipstick shade but I really wanted to have that cranberry kind of look so you just take your time and just do a regular wing and the good thing about this it is smudge proof because it does not transfer and it dries really really fast now it's time for primer and i'm just taking my makeup forever step one primer and this is the hydration one i'm going to go ahead and prime my face My primer set, I'm going to go ahead and put on my Mandy lashes and one fell out. That's why I started laughing. But I'm going to go ahead and pop my lashes and also put on mascara. So now that my primer has set, I'm going to take my Bare Minerals. And this is the, the foundation that you can customize for your own skin tone. I'm going to take that foundation and just go ahead and put it on. So I can't really give you guys a shade because it's a custom foundation that was made for me um, for my skin tone. Um, from Bare Minerals so if you guys haven't tried that out go ahead and check that out and I did do a review video on that product also going in with my shape tape I'm going to go ahead and highlight my under my eyes my nose and my chin and forehead and I'm also going to use my Maybelline better than skin or something I can re never remember that concealer but my Maybelline concealer I'm just going to try to put all the stuff down below for you guys but I'm going to use my Maybelline concealer also with this one and blend it out with my little mini buffing brush from elf because I really really love that brush
to set my concealer only, I'm going to take the IT Cosmetics and this is their pressed um, translucent powder. I'm going to use that to set the concealer under my eyes, my nose, my forehead, and chin. And then I'm going to set my face with my um, Laura Mercier powder in deep to set the rest of my face. But I love this stuff because it does not leave a white cast on your face at all. So now that my face is set, I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my skin. You guys can literally use whatever bronzer you want. That's why I don't always put the products down below because I don't want you guys to feel like you have to buy these products. Use whatever bronzer you have. And after that, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose using that same bronzer product. And this is the Becca um, bronzer. It's like the darkest one that they have just in case if you guys wanted to know which one it was. For my blush, I'm taking that same Brooklyn Beauty um, palette and using the same blush in there. You can use whatever cranberry blush you have. Then I'm going to take the IT Cosmetics and this is a superhero mascara to do my, to do my bottom lashes. And I have little te testers because I'm testing out these products. Now I'm just using the same highlight in that Brickland Beauty palette. Um, it's a gold highlight, so if you have any gold highlight, um, just use that because I cannot find this thing online. But I'm going to try, try, try to really find it online for you guys and link it down below. But if I don't, just use whatever gold um, highlight you have already. So I'm taking this red lip liner and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with this and then I'm going to go in back with that same Maybelline lipstick I use for my wing liner to fill in my lips and that will be the completed look. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This video was requested so I hope this met the request and let me know if you guys have any other requests down below and I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!